Well, the United Arab Emirates is a country that has really engaged with the WISIS agenda and is moving forward in leaps and bounds in information and communication technology in its country. Joining me from the UAE delegation here to WISIS 2015 is Mr. Majed Al Madloum. How are you, sir? Thank you, I'm fine. Pleasure to meet you. Now, you're with the Centre for Digital Innovation. In fact, you're the programme director there and a prize winner, I understand, today. Congratulations Thank you so much. on that. Uh, tell me about the Centre of Digital Innovation and uh, how it works to build capacity. Hmm. Uh, well, as you know, when we started the transformation towards a smart government, it was, there was a need to have a catalyst or an engine to really deliver the government vision to the people. And this is where the inception of the, smart, uh, the Center of Digital Innovation came into the picture. Uh, the center is basically a crossroads between students, between government employees, between industry leaders and relevant organizations who work together in order to uh, innovate and come up with solutions to help deliver that vision to the public. And um, talk to me about the innovation in your service offering. Right. What's new? Well, uh, speaking of our services, uh, when we started the center, we focused on two areas. The first area was is to increase the user confidence, especially the users of the mo newly developed at those times, the mobile applications. So we developed or we built a mobile application uh, lab. And this lab does uh, different kinds of tests for those mobile applications of the government entities. Uh, and it tests them in different areas, security, compatibility, uh, in order to actually make sure those apps are uh, compliant with our criteria. And then the apps goes into a UAE app store. So this is where uh, it's, it's a central point for the UAE users to, and the public to actually uh, get those apps, trusted apps, let's say, and uh, use the government services. That's, from, uh, that's one aspect. The second aspect was the capacity building programs. When we started, it was also important to ensure alignment between all stakeholders. As you know, the, U the United Arab Emirates is, uh, there are seven Emirates in the UAE, and we rolled out a nationwide program. Uh, the, this program actually started by doing a thorough uh, situational analysis of the current uh, capabilities in the government. We started by visiting uh, the stakeholders, government agencies, universities, just to understand what are their needs. And accordingly, we started developing programs and we focus on four main areas, which are considered the foundation for smart services. And those areas are the uh, uh, mobile information technology, uh, mobile security, application developments, and even mobile management. So, and we started rolling out those programs where we also managed to build a network of people to help us deliver and reach the target audience. Uh, what even made it more easy uh, and convenient is we, uh, we diversified the, the delivery channels. We had different kinds and ways of training uh, in different formats. We had online trainings, virtual classrooms, we had on-site trainings, we have self-paced uh, learnings as well. In addition to uh, the formats, we have the classroom materials, we have the books, we have the videos. So since this is a customer-centric initiative, we had to make sure nobody is left behind and different channels are available to, be, uh, to, pro to ensure the convenience of the users. So you had to be innovative in the way that you rolled out your innovations for people to use them. Exactly. Okay. What's uh, next then for the Centre of Digital Innovation? Uh, well, uh, it pleases me to say that we reached our first milestone and uh, as you know, and uh, this is what we learn, we, uh, we learn from our leadership that the race of excellence is, has no finish line. So having said that, the next is to continue understanding the user needs, especially that we are moving to a new uh, era now of uh, increasing the user adoption, the uptake of services and also increasing the user satisfaction. So we are going to build our training programs and the awareness campaigns based on those uh, new milestones. And we are going to uh, work hard with our stakeholders, with our users to continue understanding their changing needs. And uh, accordingly, we'll, uh, we'll deliver. Well, we wish you well with that project, Mr. Majid Al Madloum from the Center of Digital Innovation. Uh, we thank you for your time today. Thank you so much for having me.